In this video, I will show you how to use Nitro's advanced keyword feature, which includes hierarchical keywords, support for multiple languages, built-in keyword lists, AI-generated keywords, and batch keyword assignment and removal. That's a lot, so let's get started. Before I start, at the time of this recording, keyword access is limited when using the photo library. Nitro will let you view and filter keywords and make smart albums, but you cannot add or change them in Nitro. That's because Apple does not provide an official way to manipulate keywords in the photo library. If Apple does provide one, I will add it to Nitro. The interface will work the same way it does for the file system. The other thing is that this feature is not available on the iPhone. There simply isn't enough space to add it, but that may change in the future. With that out of the way, let's start by showing where keywords appear in the Nitro interface. You can see them in the Info panel. right here. You can also filter for keywords using the filtering interface. Nitro will detect all the keywords in the images in the current folder or photo library album. You can select which keywords to filter on. These are all the keywords. For example, I can select Prairie to get these two images. If I add Barn, it'll take the bison out. That's an AND search. There's also an OR search with includes any and the reverse. If I pick does not include any, it'll show me all the images that have neither barn nor prairie. I haven't shown you how to add keywords, so why am I showing you this first? Well, because Nitro will read keywords in XMP files, so if you have keywords from another app, Nitro will read them in and filter for them, in addition to any you add in Nitro itself. So how do you add or remove keywords? There are several ways. Let's start with adding a keyword to an image. There's a new button that looks like a tag. Pick that, and now you'll see the new keyword interface. Keywords already on the image appear at the top. You can click the X to remove them, and you can undo things as well. Changes to keywords happen when you go to another image or return to the grid. The first way to add keywords is by typing a keyword into this field right here. It will autocomplete based on keywords that are in the current keyword list. Nitro keyword lists are hierarchical, so if you add a keyword, it will also add the parent keywords. Nitro doesn't store the hierarchy in the XMP file. Hierarchy is here to let you organize keywords and search efficiently. If you don't want to include part of the hierarchy, then you can just delete it. If you have a lot of keywords, you can resize the keyword area by dragging on this grabber. If you have a number of keywords to enter all at once, you can just start quickly typing them together. Let's talk more about keyword lists. Nitro comes with over 1,000 keywords organized into a hierarchy. In addition, I've created localized versions of this keyword list. So there's a keyword list in German, French, Spanish, Japanese, and Chinese. The app will automatically load the correct one for the language you're using. If you're using a language other than English, you'll get both the localized version and the English version. You can also import your own keyword lists, which I will get to in a minute. In addition to adding new keywords by typing into the new keyword field, you can also click on keywords in the keyword list or filter for keywords by typing into the field right here. The heart icon represents favorites. You can favorite keywords to make it easier to find, and then show all your favorite keywords by clicking on the heart that is next to the search field. There are also keyword options, available through this menu where it says keyword lists. Wow, I have a lot of keyword lists. I must be testing the keyword feature. Here are all the keyword lists that are installed currently on my machine. The current one has a check mark by it. You can import new keyword lists edit the current keyword list, and this one will show all the installed keyword lists in the finder or files.app. You can use this show my keyword lists command if you want to remove a keyword list you're not using anymore. If you do that, then quit and reopen Nitro so it reads in the new keyword list. When importing a keyword list, you should know the keyword lists have a specific format. Each keyword is on its own line and hierarchy is handled with tab characters. 
You can use the Show My Keyword List menu item and open the default keyword list in a text editor if you want to see what they look like. Also, do not include commas, semicolons, or pipe characters. That's the vertical bar. And do not end keywords with an asterisk. All of these are important for XMP compatibility. Now I'll show you how to edit a keyword list. The simplest reason is to add a set of keywords to the default list that you use commonly or remove ones that you don't like. The interface is mostly self-explanatory. You can delete keywords by pressing the delete button and you can rename keywords by clicking and typing to change the name. You can rearrange them by moving them up and down. Changes to the list do not affect images that have already been tagged. You can add keywords using the New button. Because the list is hierarchical, Nitro needs to know where to put the new keyword in the hierarchy. To tell it, select the keyword you want it to be next to. In other words, Nitro will add the new keyword to be at the same level as the selected keyword. You can also add a child keyword to any keyword by pressing the Add Child button. As far as reordering, if you move a keyword into a keyword that's expanded, Nitro will add it to that keyword sublist. If the keyword is closed, it will move it to the same level as that keyword. So if you want to move something from art into, say, framing, then open both of them and drag one into the other. In addition, there are these buttons here. This is Promote and Demote. Promotion will move a keyword up in the hierarchy, and Demotion will move it down in the hierarchy. By the way, if you mess up the default keyword list in the app, don't worry. Pick Show My Keyword Lists, find the default keyword list, and delete it. Then quit and reopen the app. Nitro will then copy a fresh file for your use. There's also a copy-paste command for keywords. On the Mac, you get there by going to the metadata menu and picking Copy Keywords. Then select a bunch of other images and select Paste Keywords. You may have noticed the AI button in the keyword interface. Nitro has the ability to automatically generate keywords using AI. You can do that here in the OneUp viewer or batch assign them. The interfaces are basically the same, so I'll show that when I get to batch keywords. There are three ways to assign keywords to a bunch of images at once. The first is via the menus on the Mac. The other two I'll show you on the iPad. You can press and hold on an image and pick Add Remove Keywords. On the iPad, you can also select multiple images and go to the Batch menu and pick Add Remove Keywords. The Batch interface looks a lot like the Keyword Editor. At the top is a set of keywords and then the Add New Keyword field and a keyword list below that. However, because you could have more than one image selected, the Batch interface has to indicate which keywords are on all selected images and which are only on some images. The check mark that you see here by Outdoors indicates that Outdoors is on all of the images. The dash on Canada and Mountain indicates that those keywords are only on some of the images that have been selected. If you tap on a keyword with a dash, it'll go to a check mark. That means that the keyword will be applied to all selected images. If you have a keyword with a check mark and tap it, then it will have no indicator. That means it will be deleted from all the images that have it. There's undo and redo right in the panel. The last feature is automatically generated keywords. You access that the same way. Main menu and contextual menus on the Mac and contextual menus and the batch menu on iPad. Automatically generated keywords use an AI model that is small enough and efficient enough to run directly on your device. All AI processing is done locally on your Mac or iPad. Nothing is uploaded to the cloud. Right now, the model only works with English. I'm looking for ways to add additional languages. To keep the download of Nitro itself small, the models are not bundled into the app. Instead, the app will download the models to your device when you first use the feature. The models are stored in the caches directory. 
That way, iOS and macOS will automatically delete those files to recover space when you need it, and then Nitro will re-download those files when you next use the feature. The first time you use the feature, it will probably take a few extra seconds to load. It's getting some Apple technology initialized. After that, it should be faster. Then it runs the model and identifies a set of keywords for each image individually. You can tap on each image to see what it came up with. The keywords are sorted in the order that the AI algorithm thought were the best matches. We all know that AI is not perfect, so you can use this control at the bottom to adjust the number of keywords. You can also tap to delete keywords you don't want if you find that there are some in the middle that you do like. Or just shrink it all the way down. I'll tap on the second image to see what it came up with. For the second image, it also identified it as a rose, but also spotted that there's an insect in the middle of the image. That's pretty cool. Press save to store the keywords to the XMP files. By the way, the keywords that it uses come from the default keyword list. So if you add or remove keywords from there, the app will use that updated list when running the AI model. So you really get control over what it's generating. Phew, I think I covered everything. I hope you like what you see and it helps with organizing and categorizing your files. Thanks for watching.